My name is Solomon. I am working for the Ethiopian Institute of Agricultural Research as coordinator of the National Wheat Research Program at Kumsa Research Center. Uh, I took the 2008 Summit Wheat Improvement Training Course for three months and uh, it gave me very important experience on how to handle the breeding program in general and specifically the selection in the field, handling of segregating generation and how to uh, increase selection efficiency. This all uh, I got a, a very good experience from uh, Smith training. Therefore, uh, uh, I would suggest uh, the such training, such practical training continue for national programs like uh, ours, like the Open National Program, because uh, it gives, it adds value to the um, uh, efficiency of the breeding efficiency of the national programs. Uh, therefore, uh, it should be uh, 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 sustainable and it should continue uh, as it used to be because uh, almost uh, all the researchers working on wheat program in Ethiopia in one way or another uh, took Smith uh, training courses and uh, uh, there is difference uh, between uh, the work efficiency uh, uh, of uh, those who took the course and those who didn't. Therefore, uh, especially for young scientists, junior scientists uh, that exist in the National Program of Ethiopia, I would suggest uh, the um, uh, such training courses uh, uh, on the regular basis continue to be given. Where do you see main difference between studies at universities, plant breeding at university, and participation in the course in Simit? Uh, well, uh, study uh, at the universities uh, is mainly theoretical, uh, while uh, uh, such uh, practical course at the Simit training uh, is uh, very much uh, practical oriented and what the background you have, the theoretical background you have is translated into practice and it very much it increases, uh, adds value uh, in terms of uh, um, work efficiency, not only in terms of science. Actually it combines science with uh, practical work.